Today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings. You know DraftKings, and more importantly, their sports book, which is the top rated sports booking app in the US because it is safe, secure, and more importantly, it is reliable. And for the first time users out there, because we know some first time users, when you are a first time user, if you sign up and use the promo code MOTES, you will receive up to $1,000 in draft deposit bonus money. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, if you put in $200, well, DraftKings, they're going to look and say, oh, use that promo code MOTES. Well, we're going to match that $200 and give you a free $200 to use with your bet and things like that. So, yes, you definitely want to use that promo code. But more importantly, man, more importantly, we know at times you could be a little bit, you know, distressed. You might even have a problem, some might say. Well, whenever that is the case, and it can happen, you just read these, these words right here. You see these numbers. Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I don't like the call. And unless somebody was lined up off sides and we have, I, I just haven't seen a down the line sideline, which you would think the NFL should have a down the line sideline copy, right? If you're going to make that call, I just you want think to see they like, will? I don't think they will. I don't, right? th I don't think they will, but I'm just like, man, I would hope that somebody or something just so I can see like maybe somebody was lined up off sides. I don't know because I don't see anything other than that. That would un that would make me, you know, say he was all sides. But from personal experience, what we can say is this. Um, and this is actually why you would see Joe and Minka lined up a yard back, right? We've done that before with Danny Swift. Danny is great in terms of identifying tips, uh, ball snap keys in terms of field goal protection, whether it is a snapper, right? A snapper might wiggle his fingers before he goes to snap it. Uh a lineman, right? They might twist their feet, dig them in a little bit before the snap, or the uh the holder. He might have a, a, t, a, a little tip. Now, not every guy, not everybody has it, right? But certain guys have it. And Danny Smith, he's usually awesome in terms of identifying these things. And we've had blocks or we've had excellent jumps or even have called fakes based on this information. But we've also known that the referees are prone to throw the flag just because the optics, are, even though a guy, when you slow it down, he's not all sides your typical field goal format, right? You don't usually see a guy flash or guys flash before everyone else. It's usually everybody's moving at the same time. So what we had in the past was when guys would get great jumps, they were getting flagged just because they were the first to move. Even though the ball was on, everybody was good just because of how fast they triggered. So we said, okay, we'll have you line up a yard back. So now when you trigger... We let the referee know, hey, don't call this. This guy's back and you should be good. Now, I'm sure Danny Smith went over there to that referee and told him that same thing. And you saw Minka and Joe, what? They were aligned back further than everyone else. So once again, unless one of those linemen that were on the interior part were in the neutral zone, I can't see how they could call that. I personally can't, man. I can't yeah. believe, I don't know if this is the case or not with it being in two minutes. I don't know if we could have challenged it if it was outside of two minutes or even if that I is never, a challengeable play. I don't play. think it's not challengeable. I, from my, I, I've never heard offsides being like reviewed or not. Well, yeah, I guess they yeah. would have done it in the, what was it, that Chiefs-Patriots game? Right, the yeah, they, they don't do because that was Frank Clark, that one, where he was lined up in the neutral zone. Yeah, but they, that actually was the case, though, right? It's he was lined like, up. In it's it, not right, like looking back, that was a bad call. Right, but they never challenged it. And in the moment, people was like, what the heck? But then when they showed the slow-mo, this down the line, that's what I'm looking for, the down the line, because that will let you know, like, because the angle that everybody is showing is still from above high. So you can't see helmet or hand in terms of the interior guys. Helmet and hand. I mean, there's times I watch TJ. He's lined up in the neutral zone. He gets away with it because it's TJ Watt. No different when you talk about some of these premier tackles. They'll be lined up in the backfield at times. And you're like, bro. He ain't even on the line of scrimmage right now. They give him a warning or something. Right. Say like, hey, but with certain back players, right. bit. But with certain players, they kind of get that luxury. We would always complain about Joe Thomas. We we're like, bro, this dude, like, he's already elite. And now you're letting him be back. And at times, he was getting off before the snap. But because of who it was, referees going not allow that. So with certain players, you get away with it. But on field goal protections and field goal blocks... He probably makes it look good right. too. They're like it's, it's all in exactly. His, so he's that, he's that much of a pro, right? So even so, when you're thinking about this, right, and the reason I'm bringing it down like that is so you can understand as a ref, right, when you're out there and these are your keys, you're looking right here. This is what you're focusing on. It's hard to see all oh, this, this, and that, right? And when it flashes like how it did, if they just err on the side of yo, it had to be. And that's how it could have been. But Which until is bullshit, we can, man. I agree. That's terrible. I agree. But that is a part of that though because. You're here and you just see flash. You don't know what else, so you'll just talk. Hey, it had to be. It had to be somebody off.
me. And nine times out of ten, it usually is somebody off. Yes, it was like the rarity. Nine times, like think about this, right? Out of all the field goals you've seen, how often has a guy had a great jump and, uh, and that's not like been impossible. Yeah. So, so if you're that official, yeah, he was right there. It's almost right. like you're lined up offsides and mad. You right, know, when you're right. just trolling someone. Yeah, so, so if you're that official, you have to be saying, "Bro, hold on, it's no way I saw that right. Hold on, I got, I got to throw it. I just got to." Because if you don't, and he was offsides, now if you're Green Bay, imagine what they're saying. Yo, you just killed this. That's why that needs you to be challengeable. This. That really needed to be. Like, hey, let's just look up yeah. at the booth and make sure this is right. Right. But so it's just think, right? Because if you're Green Bay and they let it ride and we come back and it shows, hey, man, this guy was early. Which, like we said, the majority, 99% of the time, they are early. Yes, it was perfect for us. But most of the time, they are early. And that happens and that referee doesn't throw it, man. They're killing that referee. Green Bay is going nuts. And the game probably is different. Not saying that winning and losing right. changes, but the flow of it definitely we, changes. I, it's night and day. I feel like we could have been getting back to the running game a yeah. lot more in the second half then because we would have been mm-hmm. up, what, 17? What was it, 17, 14 we would have been up then? It was a 10-point swing. Because they got seven. They got It was 14-7 when it happened. Right. Yeah, so it would have been that that would have tied it up. It would have been 14 14 for us. We had four, no, no, we had 10. We had 10, right? No, it was 14 7 at the time, I thought. I think it was 14 No, you're 10. right, because we did get the field goal. It yeah, was boss. 14, so yeah. 14 10 it goes from 17 10, them versus us being up mm-hmm. 17 to 14. 17 14, yeah. As much as I don't want to be hanging my hat on mm-hmm. field goal blocks and these block punts, like game I mean, in and game out to change is. the tide and make sure, because I, I don't want to be doing that. Yeah. In that particular game, uh, that would have made a big difference in the second half, I think. No. Yeah. So you said Danny Smith needs a raise. <laughs> hey, man. He, he got us out of Buffalo, and you're telling me he would essentially been the reason we got out of Green Bay. So my man need a raise, man. I knew there was a conspiracy going on. <laughs> For all this hatred that Danny Swift gets. I'm right. It was a conspiracy going on, man. I'm Dude, glad they you didn't, said that. I man. was telling you, they weren't showing the replay in exactly. the stadium. I get it. You have that home field advantage and the right to do that or not. Yeah. But as a Steeler fan there, it's like, okay, there's there's yeah. definitely a reason you're not replaying hey, this man. right now. And all then a I'm lot of people is, on Twitter man, were they, saying it was right. Hey, Danny Smith for president, bro. You saw what Danny's. And, and he got boss hitting from 56 and from 52 back-to-back weekends, bro. Think about that. <laughs> Danny Smith for president, man. McLeod looked a little decent. Come on, man. Get my man. He Danny almost Smith broke one or two. We called almost. it too. We called it. We said that that coverage. Even unit the Packers is fans janky. in the stands were like, we said, oh, they man, janky, watch man. this, bro. Oh, man. They he janky, dude. We had them. 